Hey guys, it's John Michael with The New Adventure. And this week, we're taking our hobby farm to a new level. We're putting in some fencing and we're using H bracing. So we'll show you how we do it. The corner we are at right now is one of the far corners of the property and it's in a bit of the woods. Um, the fellow who lived here before us, he put up this high tensile strength fence with the H style bracing and for him it held in cattle and horses. Yeah. Um, we knew that it, this corner's lasted over 40 years, so it stands the test of time. It's a solid corner. We're actually gonna reuse this corner. Yeah. Uh, we've gotten up here, we pulled on it, pushed on it. To be honest, it doesn't budge. I mean, it's it's sturdy, it's in there. So right here's one of the old corner posts in our property. And you can tell the wire was pulling in these directions, which caused what used to be a vertical post to get quite the lean on it. We're trying to prevent that. So we're going back and replacing with the H braces, just like we saw up in the woods. And these guys, basically, they use the outer two legs of it to pull tension back, pushing this one in the opposite direction so that it doesn't lean over. Now you have three posts working together instead of one by itself. For our in the ground post, we're gonna be using a eight foot by six inch diameter post. And then for our H bracing, we're gonna be using a six foot, four inch diameter post. What we're doing right now is loading up the John Deere with the post and kind of setting them out where they need to go because we're just gonna wear ourselves out walking all around trying to put these things out. So we got the forks on the bucket. Um, if you have a grapple tool, that would work perfect. That's what we need, but we don't have one. So we're using what we have. It's kind of our philosophy. Just use what you have, do the best you can. So we're gonna use those forks. We're gonna distribute all of our posts and our T-posts um, out where they need to be and that way they'll be in place for whenever we're ready to set these fence posts. We're trying to bury each post about three feet into the ground and then on the very corner we're going to use an 80 pound bag of concrete for each corner post. With the H bracing it is very important to make sure that your posts are true and plumb as you're putting them in the ground. We like to mark out our H bracing before we actually dig our holes. So this is our H brace, and we wanted to make sure that we had the room because these come in a selective length. So I didn't want it to be too far apart. So I had them put a little bit close, that way I can cut it to length. So say if we want it here, we can cut it to length. The reason I say that, because we have this one purposely lean back a little bit so that when we pull tension on it, it'll be true and straight. Our wire's gonna be pulling this corner post this direction. So I need something to push back this way. So this post is gonna be pushing back, but to do so, I need it anchored we're going to go low on this post using a ratchet, taking it, looping it up to the top of this one and back down to the bottom, and it'll pull back that way, which will push this post out. And then when the wire pushes against it, it'll hold us tight. Here we go. First thing you're going to do is level your H bracing. Next, bore holes in the end of the H brace post. Next, bore holes in your fence posts that are in the ground. Next, you're gonna go ahead and start hammering in the H bracing pins. Now all that's left is to string our wire up and around and put our tensioner in place. Two crimps go on the wire. Then I put the tensioner on. And I do this. Make sure you get the right size crimps for the wire gauge that you're using. We're using a 12 and a half gauge wire on this fence. Now we just have to tighten our wire tensioners. So after we put the H bracing up, our next part of the project, we have to span or string a guide wire for us. So we go ahead and do our bottom wire. And that shows us the line that we're gonna be running. And in that, that allows us to mount our T post. So we go ahead and put this in there. And as you can see, the property goes up and down. And we put T post, T -post to keep our level or our distance from the ground equal the whole way. So what we did, we measured off our 30 feet 
came through with the T-post driver and drove those in and set our post. We measured up and set a distance that we want our wire to remain and that's where our posts are. Now this one, it happened to hit a rock on the way down and it twisted a little bit. That's gonna happen, but you have some flexibility with your plastic down there that isolates it. Because remember, these wires are gonna end up being electrified. They're gonna be hot, so we don't want our T-post hot as well. So then we just space them out. The way we get all of our tension in the middle of our run, we put a ratchet. In the middle of our run, we put a ratchet. That way it pulls equal tension from each direction to the center. And this, we can, we're able to tighten it up or loosen it as we need to. So we put it together, we tension it, then we set our T-post and that holds us level or to the level we want it to be across the bottom level of the ground. And then we're able to string the rest of our wires to the higher tension as well. So that takes care of us. So now it's got good tension on it. So we're nowhere near done with this project. We got a lot to go, but these past two weekends, we've made some huge steps. And I just gotta say thank you to the family that's come out and they've helped us with it. Guys, there's no way we could have done even half of this without you guys. So I appreciate right. you coming out and taking care of us, looking out for us. And even the little guys. Absolutely. You know, you know they were out here with good attitudes and- They were know. watching out for each other, right. taking care of each other. Oh, it was great. You know, the girls, they did an awesome job keeping us fed. Mom and my aunt, they were taking care of us, keeping us fed. Yeah. We were working and that's what it's about for us. Yeah. You know, it's family, it's getting together, it's taking care of each other and helping out. So And this project is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be worth it for everybody involved, I hope. So um, we are so excited and thank you so much to everybody who's been following us on this whole journey we've been on and um, for all of your subs all the subscribers out there. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit that little subscribe button and follow us on this journey because it's gonna be something. It absolutely will. We're definitely stepping out of our comfort zone yep. and uh, trying to turn our little play petting zoo to a farm. <laughs> That's right. All right, guys. So we will see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye. Every job we do around the farm, I get so much more respect for people that do this for a living. Like legit farmers, y'all are tough dudes and ladies. This is hard work.